subject of this video. When I was in 3F, one of the people that I deal with on a daily, and I was fine. You know, one of my friends knows that my natural hair is very curly and my full lace wig is my lace from for you don't have to pull it to see how long because you know I have very curly hair and the uh, you know, wavy wig has hang time on its own that's fine because she already knows and she wants to know to do okay that's good that's I'm all for that you know if you have information you share the wealth and share the knowledge in the meantime I went to the BMW Paperwork, so I have to go all the way back to the doctor and get a new copy of so and so on. And this lady, I mean, didn't bother Lord or anything. Uh, I like your lace front. Excuse you? Just, <laughs> uh, well, and she's trying to see if there's actually a lace front or not. There's two things wrong with that. One, has shifted or the gas to be glued that's a backhanded compliment you know or she just didn't have any kind of tact whatsoever I mean at least my friends go I can't come in here he's like oh I like your lace front I was like oh right so the other lady that was in line goes I don't know what she said what was that I said basically she just said she likes my hair oh yeah it's pretty until the other lady was trying to figure out what we were talking about. Now, after I left, she might say, well, she was wearing a wig. I don't know. I don't care. That's not what you do. That's just rude. I mean, you don't go to somebody and go, oh, I like your wig, even if you can tell they're wearing one. So you also don't go up to somebody and go, oh, I like your lace front, or I like your lace wig, or that looks real. You don't do that. That's just... If you do it, stop doing it. You know. Now, my wig, because it is a human hair wig, 
looks extremely real. When I have it glued down properly, you can't tell it from my hair except for the texture. And I generally have a wavy wig. And when I'm done doing everything that I'm going to do to it, it's going to be just as curly as mine. Because I have skills like that. I just haven't utilized it because it requires boiling water and people not being nosy. And you know the situation here, so I always do all that stuff at night when you know people aren't paying too much attention it's like I make soap at night now because otherwise you have people walking going oh what is this you know you can't have someone especially when you're making soap that uses light just reach into a bottle of light or you know water or whatever to see what it is you know we've tried no, don't touch. I'm making soaps, and they still do it. Fortunately, when she stuck her hand in, it was oils. The live water was actually on top of something where she couldn't reach if she wanted. But that was my clue. Don't make soap in the house anymore because with the decline, yeah, that's going to be an issue. I mean, I've made soap in this room and had the door locked so forth and so on but then there's not much room in this room to do stuff so after you make it now you have to find some place to put the sleeping soap you know when you put the soap, soap to sleep it has to be covered completely up so it can gel and put it somewhere that you're not going to disturb it and my room is 12 by 13 and it's full of furniture, my bed, uh, dresser, a file cabinet, so for so there's mm, very little real estate in this room. So needless to say, can't go filling it up with this mold, that mold, so for so on. So basically, unless it's a special order, I'm not mess up in the house anymore because, you know, when I move, then I'll do it, but for right now, no. It's just to complicate to explain someone with dementia that you can't touch and you know then they get the hostile burger. I'm not now, you know, I didn't tell me, but they keep doing it because cognitively they're not all there. And I understand that. The lady that said, Oh, I like it, it's very real I think maybe she had a cognitive issue too. I don't know, never been before, but if you're one of them people that, you know, knows that someone's lace is lifting up or whatever, and you want to tell them, I like your lace front, or I like your wig, or I like your hair, say that, I like your hair, get them to where there's a little bit of privacy and go, tell me about your hair. Because most of us are going to say, oh, I got this at AliExpress, or oh, I got this on so and -so place. If they know that they can talk in a trusted environment, you know, hey, they want to, you know, get the same kind of hair I got. They know I have a lace front or they know I have a wig on, so forth. So that's one thing. But, oh, I like your lace front. Are you trying to compliment me or are you trying to insult me? Which is, I don't know. But I'm going to assume that you're trying to insult me or trying to embarrass me by saying that. Now, unfortunately for her, her little game didn't work. Yeah, I got it all in the dress now. Oh. I don't lie, I don't stutter, and I don't lie. If I lie, you'll hear me stuttering because I can't lie successfully. It's like my brain goes, uh, she's not going to tell the truth. Uh, and then all that will comes out. But by the same token, I don't necessarily feel the need to tell everybody. Now, there's someone that someone I like your lace friend. I don't know her from Adam, Eve, Steve, or whoever. That's not her business. So instead of saying, I oh, know that's my hair, which it is, I bought the paper. But instead of saying, oh, uh, I handled it the way I handled it. I didn't bother to, you know, try to 
cover up the truth because basically when people say stuff like that that's what they're looking for they want you to say oh it's mine or whatever so that way they could pounce on you and try to embarrass you and do all that nonsense so i said oh i got an alias press now shh. in other words you know i just shared with you the rest of the world don't need to know and if they needed to know i would tell the whole rest of the world so if you want these petty vindictive little people out here that has nothing to do except for find somebody's flaw or find somebody's weakness or find something that you could jump on somebody about then you yeah, continue on being petty and steady because that's all the world sees and you're not going to fool anybody into thinking that you're giving them a compliment most people are prepared for that nonsense get that that's a look I like so forth and so on then get some privacy hey girlfriend can I talk to you about something you know especially if it's a friend of yours don't do that I like your lace front just say lady I like your hair okay I compliment people on their hair all day long this one lady had a halo effect I mean all her hair was silver and some gray and then black showing through but it was completely around her head it was gorgeous and i said hey your hair is gorgeous it looks like a halo oh thank you and she could tell a minute i'm trying to figure out because i got a streak right here you know and that's another one my friends know when i have a, a lace wig on compared to my hair because my gray is there shows up and says, hey, I'm here. What you gonna do about it? You know? But if I figure how to get my hair to go around here, or the silver of my hair to go around like a halo, I'd be all over that because that was so cool. Instead, I got Peppy his profile look. It's just a straight one right here. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them always is a little young yet, yeah, so they don't know who Peppy the Pew is. So look at um, Nick at Night or um, Cartoon Network uh, Classics or Google it, Peppy Le Pew. Peppy Le Pew's girlfriend isn't it actually a skunk like Peppy Le Pew is. Peppy Le Pew, by the way, is skunk. Who falls in love with a cat because he don't know that is a cat. Somehow or another, during every episode, she manages to get a streak of um, white paint or white dye or shock that causes a white streak, you know. And the stuff sees the cat looking like a female version of a skunk, and he falls in love, and then he's relentless. And of course, because he's Peppy Le Pew and he stinks, Every time he gets close enough to the female cat who looks like a skunk, she's trying to get away from him because he has that oh there. And you know, he's love struck, so he's trying to go anywhere she is. It's a hilarious cartoon. So, you know, if you're my age group and you just wanna revisit funny stuff from your past, actually YouTube has had the few cartoons too. Look it up. And if you're young yet and you don't know who that is, look it up. Anyway, that's all I had to say about that. So, y'all stay blessed, stay tuned. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. I'm People7 on Twitter and YouTube. People also on the internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly dash peoplebutterfly.com. My soaps, purple butterfly soaps, can be located at people at Instagram. And my t shirt designs, purple butterfly dash people dot tmail dot com y'all stay blessed stay tuned and i love your hair <laughs>